Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you how I uh, set my uh, sway bars and uh, how to adjust them uh, correctly. So first of all, I take off the shocks. So when we have the shocks out, we want to make sure the sway bar is uh, pulling the arm in the same uh, way on both sides. This is very important uh, to take away any uh, tweak in the car and have the car uh, perform in the same uh, left corners and the right corners. So normally I check this by um, uh, just by the eye. So in the first movement you take one side and you see how much you can move the arm before the other one moves. So this one I feel uh, I can move this arm a bit more than the right side. So either way we need to move we need to move this a little bit up or this down. So then I screw this screw a little bit out. Now it's more equal. I want to do a little bit more. So I take this screw a little bit down. Now I feel they are quite similar. I can move the arm the same way on both sides. In a way to double check the measurements, you can take a traditional uh, droop gauge like this. And you can turn the car around. You take the droop gauge like this and you push the arm all the way up. You can check the play to the droop gauge. A little bit play, turn it around, take the arm up, a little bit play. So it's very, very close. And I do the same in the rear. I check, similar feeling. And then you can double check again uh, with the droop gauge if you have the same uh, play on both sides. This way you make sure your sway bars is correctly set and uh, your car has the best uh, performance in the same uh, in both directions. So I hope this uh, tip will help you when you build your own uh, i14 2 car and uh, to gain some more performance on the track. Uh, that's it for me today. Uh, please uh, visit uh, Infinity website or contact your local dealer if you need more information about Infinity products. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time.